Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti Key Classroom. Let's discuss two questions from Profit and Loss chapter today. Actually, these two questions are being discussed in our regular course in doubt clarification sessions. Generally, our students post the doubts, regular students. I just uh, take up all the questions together, four or five questions together, and I make a video and post that one in our course so that that would be useful not only for the student raise the doubt, but also for the other students also. Sometimes what we do from the same sessions, we take some questions and uh, we just upload that one on YouTube also. So that even the other students may be knowing our teaching methodology and thereby they are gaining from these classes also. That is my main intention. Okay, let's take these two questions. First, make a note of these questions or take a screenshot here. Two questions. See how they have asked. The profit obtained by selling an article for 500 rupees is 25% less than the loss incurred when it is sold for 360. At what price the article must be sold to make a profit of 25%? Alright, so this question followed by one more question. This question is also of the same model. Let me explain this question with a simple shortcut. If you know the methodology students, this question, each question will take not more than, not more than 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the maximum time for this question after reading the question. Alright, I'll show you that method. Generally, we discuss this type of methods in our regular courses. Alright, take the first question. What is that? How exactly you have to go for that? I'll tell you. Read the question properly. How they have given the profit obtained by selling an article for 500 rupees is 25% less than the last incurred when it is sold for 360 at what price the article must be sold to make a profit of 25 percent observe that one carefully students finally they are asking for the selling price by giving the profit to get 25 percent profit for how much i have to sold to answer this question first of all i should know the cost price this is the first step that must come in your mind i need to find out the cost price if you know the cost price on that cost price you have to add 25 percent to get the required answer yes now my task is to uh, think how to find the cost price they have given a clear clue here what is that one if they sell that article for 500 rupees they get a profit which is 25 percent less than the loss when they sell that one at a 360 now you got the idea right when they sell it for 360 they incur some loss but when they sell it for 500 rupees they get profit but that profit is 25 percent of the loss in this case all right how to do this one there are two methods students i have explained in our regular courses two methods i have explained right one is a little comprehensive one other one is a direct shortcut even without writing anything on the paper if you do by do the question with the help of that shortcut you need not even write on the paper how is that one we discuss but before that let's go for the detailed method first after that i'll go back to the shortcut detailed method for you and shortcut is for the examiner okay what's the detailed method students simple one you see in the first case 500 rupees is the selling price i'm taking it as selling price okay the other case, uh, selling price is uh, 360 rupees. Okay, now let's use algebra here. When they sell the article for 360, let us take uh, the loss as uh, X rupees. They get the loss of uh, X rupees. There. All right, then based on this loss, I decide the profit here. Clearly, they have given that when they sell it for 500, they get the profit which is clearly see that one they get the profit which is 25 percent less than this loss clear now you see now here loss is x profit is 25 percent less than x how to do this one use the direct shortcut here students 25 percent less than that one 25 percent means 1 by 4 all right less than that one that means 4 minus 1 3 3 by 4 of this one. I'm not writing anything here. 3 by 4 of this one is 25% less than this. So, 3 by 4 of that one, that is 3x by 4. As simple as this one. 
Now see students, in both the cases, cost price is same. I'm going to frame an equation by using that one. What is that? Both the cases, cost price is same. How to go for this one? Here you see selling price, selling price. So selling price minus profit will give me the cost price. Yes or no? Selling price minus profit will give you the cost price. So according to this one, the cost price is selling price 500 minus minus profit. So cost price. Alright, in the second case, here cost price is selling price plus loss will give me the cost price. Isn't it? Selling price plus loss will give me the cost price. Now here selling price is 360, loss is X. Both the cases cost price is same. I'm equalizing this one as simple as this. Now you find out the value of X, you will get the loss. Based on that one, you can find out the cost price. That cost price plus 25% will give me the final selling price. Simple. Just solve this one. Okay, for your sake, I'll just solve this one. But do it very quick, students. Here, take this 360 here. 3x plus 4 there. That means 3x by 4. Not plus, I'm sorry. 3x by 4 plus x. What is 3x by 4 plus x? This is 4x plus 3x, 7x by 4. I'm doing directly. 7x by 4 is equal to 500 minus 360. 500 minus 300, 200. 200 minus 60, 140. So, okay. Now here, x is equal to 140 into uh, so 4 by 7. So, 4 by 7. We just quickly go for this one. This is 24 into 20. That is 80. What do you mean by 80 students here? Loss is 80. So here, this loss is 80. Okay. Now, what is the cost price? Selling price plus loss will give me the cost price. 360 plus 80. 360 plus 40 is 400. Again, 40. 440. I'm writing here. Okay. Let me write here. Otherwise, you just... Uh, Make it a little short. All right. Anyway, this is over. I'm just making it short. Ah, I'm keeping here. Now here, according to this one, the cost price is four hundred and forty. Now here, the question is to get twenty five percent profit for how much it should be sold. Very simple one. This four forty. Twenty five percent. I should get the profit. I told you the direct fraction. What is that one? Twenty five percent. Uh, profit should be there. 25% profit means 1 by 4. 1 by 4 means 4 is the cost price, 1 is the profit, selling price will be 5. So the direct fraction is into 5 by 4. Okay, so I'm not writing all the steps here. Direct shortcut here, 25% profit. 25% profit means 1 by 4. 1 by 4, 1 by 4 means 4 is the cost price, 1 is the profit. 4 plus 1, 5. So 5 by 4. 5 is the selling price, 4 is the cost price. Now, this 440 into 5 by 4. This is 4 ones, 4 ones, 0. 5, 5, 0 is my final answer. Got the clarity? This is for your sake, students. You have to learn the concept in this way. You, can, you should have some understanding of that one. Isn't it? Now, I'll give you the shortcut. Within 30 seconds, how to do this one? Not even 30 seconds. If you know the method, you can do it very, very easily. How is that direct method? I'll tell you, students, we have done many questions in our regular course based on this one. What is the direct method? First, to take the difference of these two selling price. Why that is so? Because the profit or loss are divided with this figure only. Yes or no? In the simple terms, I'll tell you. First, you take the difference of 500 and 360. 500 and 360, the difference is 140. In this 140 only, the ratio of profit and loss are there. How is that? Profit is 25% less than the loss. So 25% is 1 by 4, isn't it? Now profit is 25% less than the loss. That means if 4 is the loss, profit should be less than that one. 4 minus 1, that is 3. All right. If 4 is the loss, 3 is the profit. That means in this 140, 3 parts are profit 
and four parts are last as simple as this one in the basic sessions i have given you how to take this one now find out the profit students simply i can find out the profit profit is three parts now three by three plus four that is seven into 140 that is two times 60 60 is the profit 60 is the profit you can use this selling price or whatever it may be now 500 is the selling price 500 is the selling price profit is 60 what is the cost price selling price minus profit is equal to cost price Selling price minus profit is equal to cost price. Selling price is 500 minus 60. So my cost price is 440. Why? How much time would it be taking for this one student? Simply one step only. Need not write anything on the paper. 500, 360. Difference is 140. And here profit is 25% less than the loss. That means 25% is 1 by 4. If loss is 4 parts, 4 minus 1, 3 parts, profit. Now I need to find out profit or loss, whatever it may be here. I found out the profit. If you want, you can go with the loss also, 4 parts also. That's up to you. You can use 500 or 360. That's up to us. So simply here, cost price is 440. When cost price is 440, adding 25% profit, what should be the selling price? Just now I have explained you. You can do directly like this. Uh, see, cost price is uh, for two ways you can do. Cost price is 440. I need to get profit of 25% into 125 by 100. 125 by 100 is nothing but 5 by 4. Or if you want to do it directly, profit is uh, 1 by 4. That means here four parts is the cost price, one part is profit. When profit is 1 by 4 means 1 is profit, 4 is cost price. Then what should be the selling price? Cost price plus profit will give me the selling price. Selling price will be 5 parts. 5 parts. So direct fraction to get the profit, get the selling price 440 into this one 5 by 4. You will get the same answer. Got the clarity? This is how exactly you need to do the questions. I have explained this one in both the ways. One is comprehensive, other one is simple, shortcut. But in the examination, you just follow the second method. First method is for your understanding. Got the clarity? Go for the next question, students. This must be done by you. What is that? The profit obtained by selling an article for 3200 is 11, 1 by 9% more, more. In the previous uh, case, that was less. Now, 11, 1, 9 by, uh, 1 by 9% more than the last incurred when it is sold for 1300. At what price the article must be sold to make a profit of 30%? Uh, now, just pause the video, students. Keep the time up there. In 30 seconds, you have to do. After that, resume the video. I'm going to explain this question. Just pause it. Do it. Then resume the video. The reasonable timing for that one, for this one is only 30 seconds. Okay. Now, see how I'm going to do this one after resuming the video. See that one. Directly, I'm going with the shortcut. What's the shortcut? Take the difference of the selling price. 3200 and 1300 just go for this one 3200 and 1300 so this is 3 1 that is 2 but 1 will go here I have given you this one in the speed match technique there that is 19 1900 simple now you need to divide this 1900 into profit and loss ratio because both profit and loss in this case are in this 1900 only. What is the condition here? Profit is 11, 1 by 9% more than the loss incurred when they sold for this price. Now you see here profit is more than the loss. 11, 1 by 9. 11, 1 by 9, the fractional value is 1 by 9 only. You know this one. 11, 1 by 9, fractional value is 1 by 9. And this 1 by 9, this 9 is a loss. Okay, 9 is a loss. This profit is 1, 11, 1 by 9 percent more than the loss. Here, 1 by 9 is loss. In 1 by 9, 9 points I must take for the loss. And here, profit is more than the loss. That means it is 9 plus 1 is the profit. 
The final conclusion is uh, the ratio of profit and loss. Uh, profit is 10 parts, 9 plus 1, loss is uh, 9 parts. Correspondingly, can be any number, but that should be in this proportion, 10 and 9. I hope you understood this. In the previous question, what was there? 25% less. Profit is 25% less than the loss. 25% is 1 by 4. 4 I have taken. 4 points I have taken as loss. But profit should be less than, less than 4 minus 1. 3 parts profit, 4 parts loss. But here 1 by 9, more, more, more. 11, 1 by 9 percent means 1 by 9 more. Profit is more than the loss. In this case, 9 parts loss plus 1, 10 parts profit. Now, very clearly, profit 10 parts is to last 9 parts. As simple as this one. Now, try to find out the cost price. How to find out the cost price, students? First, find out either profit or loss from this one. Anyone, whatever it may be. I'm going for the profit. Profit means that is 10 parts out of 10 plus 9. 19 parts into 1900. So this is 100. Here I am writing this is 1000 rupees. Now here students profit is 1000 rupees. I am writing here. Profit is 1000. Selling price is uh, 3200. And uh, when profit is 10,000 selling price is 3200. Obviously Cost price is equal to selling price minus profit. Selling price minus profit. If you go for this one, selling price minus profit, 3200 minus 1000, that is 2200 is the cost price. Now, the cost price is 2200 into how much is the profit? 30%. What, how to take the direct fraction students? 30% profit, 30% is nothing but 3 by 10, alright, 3 by 10, 3 by 10 means 10 parts cost price, 3 parts profit, 13 parts is the selling price, direct fraction is into 13 by 10, 10 is the cost price, 13 is the selling price, do you know how this step has come in the previous sessions I have given you, for your sake I will tell you, simple students, 10 is the cost price, 13 is the selling price now. Suppose if 10 is the cost price, selling price is 13. Now 2200 is the cost price. What is the selling price? 2200 divided by 10 into 13. So 2200 into 13 by 10. Both are same. Okay. This is for you. you. Alright. Just simply go for the simplification. 1010 bond. Now it is 220 into 13 times. How to do that one? Well, first take out that zero. Uh, at the end we are going to add 0. Now 22 into 13. 20 into 13 times. 20. Otherwise directly 22 into 10 times you take. 22 into 10 times is 220. Then 22 into 3 times is 66. 220 plus 66. 286. And 10. 286. 10. This is the final answer. This is how exactly we have to go for the question. See students, I am reiterating here. This question must be done in maximum of 30 seconds. Now it is in many competitive exams they are asking this type of questions. Either direct questions or the concept is based on this logic. If you know the logic, doing the question is simply cakes walk for you. Thank you so much and I will meet you in the next session.